What's up, y'all? I've been down a while. I'm back. Um, so, yeah, I finished the show, Barry. What a good show. I really did not know that Bill Hader had that, like, writing ability and acting and uh, directing and stuff like that. But I, rec I recommend everyone should watch Barry. Um, but it's not up there with like, Game of Thrones, Succession, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. I wouldn't say that, but it is still a very good show. And... It's kind of unfortunate that it is. It was in the um, comedy category in the Emmy nominations for like the four years that it ran, because at some point it kind of shifts into like black or dark comedy slash just full on like drama, and you know, it's all seriousness now. You know, in like the third and fourth season after season two, so it's not. I wouldn't say it's like a comedy, and I wouldn't say it's like a full on drama either. It's just kind of both. And Bill Hader like successfully balances the two themes and the two genres quite well. And I mean, for me, the first two seasons were hilarious, and then it got kind of unfunny towards the end because maybe it was like the area that I was watching the show in, but it just wasn't really as funny for me after season two. And I also noticed that there was um, there was like a two-year or three-year break after that because of COVID-19 so or because of the c19 and then they had to take a break and then they came back in 2023 and then i just noticed that the i guess the atmosphere in the show shifted a little bit it could be because of like maybe possible rewritings that happened over the years or just i don't know but it just it felt like something shifted in the show and uh it just stopped being funny for me but there were some funny moments that i can acknowledge in the show uh, and then there was this really funny part in the second season called Ronnie slash Lily episode 5 or 6 I think which is like the best episode of the show it's just like very chaotic and then very non-real as well but real at the same time and one thing I really appreciate about the show is that like it's it's very realistic kind of um, the gunshots everything the, the action scenes as well you do not notice that like Barry doesn't get shot at all in the show, but it kind of makes sense how he doesn't get shot. And then you know there's also like this comedic tone to it as well because Barry is an ex-military agent, and he's also very clumsy at times, and he's not the best at reading situations. I think unless it's directly right in front of him. And um, Bill Hader also like I noticed he directed a lot of the episodes in the show which is just crazy because like they're all directed very well and I think it's nor it's normal to think that if you are directing an episode you're not going to appear in the episode as much but that's not the case in the show because he's in every episode and I mean he doesn't direct all the episodes but he directs most of them and the direction is just so good as well and there are like I think three chases in the show or three like yeah three chases in the show that are just done very well there was one on the bike and then I mean from the car to the bike there was one and then just like the action scenes as well there was one in the airport or the hangar and other parts in the show that were just like done very well now i won't lie i think two things that did bother me were season two the f uh, like apart from all that all the finales and all the seasons were done extremely well but in season two the ronnie lily episode is one that i didn't really like at first but it was funny to me but i don't think I think it was a cop out because spoilers ahead by the way um right before that episode there was another police agent that was on barry's tail and that episode in my opinion is basically used as a way to like get rid of that character the police officer because there are two characters briefly introduced in that episode that that are displaying superhuman feats and it just doesn't really make sense like that and i mean i could tell that that was just like a cop out in my opinion because I mean, <laughs> it was unreal, like, the, there was this girl that was jumping from, like, five feet away, and then fighting Barry as well, and then the dad as well that was, like, surviving for how long he did. It was just, like, a very weird episode, and there was a sense of, like, non-realism to it as well. And then the final complaint that I had was the f fourth and final season. Um, there was just, like, huge time skip, I guess, of eight years, eight to ten years and it was just so abrupt in my opinion and um i don't know i felt a little bit disconnected from 
what I had just been watching because it just jumped into eight years later and I guess you're just supposed to like take it and just disregard everything that may have happened until but I mean it still made sense it just wasn't something that I really liked and then towards the finale as well they did this like little Breaking Bad thing in the finale of Breaking Bad as well where Fuchs nods to Barry as well and then Fuchs leaves and he runs to nowhere um, I also didn't really like that because now I mean Fuchs is still an accessory to a lot of cr like, crime criminal activities that happen over the show and he just I guess gets his lucky break and gets to leave and then well I guess you just say the same thing about Jesse never mind and then um yeah and then Barry the main character of the show gets shot and killed in like the most crazy way like he's the main character I would expect him to get like a proper send off type thing like maybe he gets shot when he's in a, in a final fight or in a fight, final battle type thing or he gets shot and then the police arrive and then you know maybe he's shooting his weapon and then they shoot on sight or something like that you know but like he gets shot in like five seconds he gets shot by Gene Cousineau and then he says oh wow those are his last words oh wow and it just felt very anticlimactic for the show because I don't expect the show to end with character that is a criminal to get a good ending which is what the show I guess ended in in a sense but like so I wasn't really expecting Barry to get his um his good ending in the first place but then he got shot and killed right right then and there with no proper send-off and then Sally Reed also I guess she never really owns up to the fact that she killed someone and that she never turns herself in she just runs away from her own past and then um i want to jump again back to season one there was another time skip in the final episode that just caught me off guard i was really surprised by what happened because in the prior episode the relationship between sally and barry was not like it was already destroyed i think and the only reason they were still talking was because of the play that they had to perform for the audience so for them to do like a time skip of like a few weeks later showing the two of them back together i was like is this i was thinking to myself is this like a something that barry is hallucinating for example or i don't know because and then also um what's her name janice appears in the finale as well of season one and the way that she was interacting with barry and sally is not how i would have thought she would interact with other with people other than Jean. so i was very caught off guard and then the only part where I realized that this is really happening was when Janice, I guess, um, found out that Barry had a connection to Chris and stuff like that. But yeah, um, but overall, this is a very fantastic show. Um, I don't quite agree with the finale and how it went. It seemed a little bit rushed, and I'm not really happy with the ending like that. But I saw some comments saying that this is like, in, towards the end of the show, was more of a political commentary and just on the state of the world and you know talking about real life things that are happening so i mean fair is fair but yeah but it's certainly a good show and i recommend it